Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. This game gets a lot of weird opinions, but I think people should be willing to learn more about it at least. In 2002, Nintendo approached Konami to make a Metal Gear game for the GameCube. Supposedly, Kojima himself was approached by Mario creator and Grandmaster Wizard Shigeru Miyamoto for the game. It may be worth noting that Kojima wanted Snake in the next Smash Bros. game. No proof that this was a bargaining decision, but it is known that Kojima did want Snake in Melee, but couldn't put him in there due to the stage of the development. Kojima decided that the game that was going to be made on the GameCube should be a remake instead of an all-new game, and that a different developer should work on it. Kojima's team at the time was busy with Snake Eater, and said there was no point in having the staff repeat their earlier work, so they tasked the assignment to Silicon Knights, with both Shigeru Miyamoto and Hideo Kojima overseeing the project. But Kojima only filled the role of producer in this, compared to the other games where he acted as director. The plan was pretty much to update the game to look like Metal Gear Solid 2, but the differences were much greater than that. Besides the touched up graphics, differences included a completely different soundtrack with the exception of one song, done by both Silicon Knights and Konami staff. All the control and enemy interactions from Sons of Liberty were added to this game, the AI was improved, and many of the cutscenes were changed. Originally, the director, and I'm probably going to mess up this name, but Ryuhei Kitamura pretty much made carbon copies of the old cutscenes. However, at Hideo Kojima's request, they were changed. By the way, MAJOR props to David Hayter, who apparently gave up half his paycheck in this project to ensure that all the staff would return to reprise their roles. All the lines were redubbed due to too much background noise in the original recordings. Due to time constraints, the original plan to remake all the VR missions were scrapped. The game was released on March 9th, 2004 in the United States, and apparently failed to sell 1 million units. I know it broke 250,000 because I remember seeing a copy as a player's choice, but the sales are nothing close to Sons of Liberty or Snake Eater's numbers. Hell, I even remember that when I got the game for my birthday in April of 2004, I remember only having to pay $40, so the price was dropping even only a month after the game's release. I still managed to find another copy around 2006 or 7 for about $12, so either the game isn't that rare, or that was a really stupid game vendor. Of interest to people who have not played this game, but when you reload a save, you'll actually get a mission log, kind of briefly touching upon what had just happened. So, yeah. I'm not sure how many of these they've written. I'm Considering how many circumstances in which you've saved, it's pretty fascinating if they've actually created so much text for this. But yeah. Ooh, welcome back to this Let's Play! Oh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes! Now things may look a little different. And here's the reason. I recorded the entire last... Th I tried recording this before, and I fucked up. Royally. And as a result, uh, my, la my last recording attempt failed completely so I and the thing is I saved during that time and uh, because of that well I had to start over from the beginning and during that replay I got caught one time and I tried to get the items the same as I was even though I didn't even want the SOCOM <laughs> nudity alright don't m fuck so you killed the chief, you bastard! Just realized, another thing I forgot to put back. Whatever, I'll quit? keep it either way. No, you're not. Either way, all the scenes are in black. Don't Whatever. move! Yeah, I guess this helps, because either way, you guys can see Is this. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <gasps> if I didn't make myself clear, uh, what, I, what I meant to say was... I, f I removed subtitles, but here they're on. He has a gun. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. Butterman. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, I are seriously you? have no idea why they're coming. Open here. that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like we'll be a little delayed. 
to that. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Now it's time for actual gameplay! And sadness and despair because this section is fucking hard. Ah. Dive! Oh! Oh! What the hell? Hey, this is my safe, safe place here. Because here's the thing, this section is fu Are you kidding me? This section is fucking hard. These dudes all... Ah, dang it. These dudes will murder you in an instant and... Wow, Snake bleeds like a million pounds what are you of blood. For? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! What the fuck? Snake. What the f What kind of bullet is that? Shit? I'll admit this is still more fair than like Metal Gear Solid 1's difficulty, which is really annoying. How do they keep hitting me, like, the, the second I hit them? Now are we gonna see the first game over, folks? Oh, I missed! But now I got him. Yes, I am forcing you to look at his ass. Oh yeah, and uh, if, he, if they shoot you, or if they kill you with a- wait. Wow, that was that was a good one, but um, yeah, I died. But if they kill you with a with a bullet, there's a couple of ways they can kill you. Obviously, that's one. Of them. Ah! Fuck! Damn it! Uh, your screen will actually break, like in Resident Evil. What the hell? I didn't even hit him in the head. Did I hit him in an artery? All right. So yeah, here's me attempt number two. And oddly enough, um, in my first take, I failed. Just like this time. But thankfully in that other take, I think I only died once. What are you waiting I'm hoping for? I only died shoot. once. Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Hmm. I'm curious as to whether or not that's like the original or not, because when you look at the original scene, there is so much slowdown that I kind of have to wonder, was that how they originally intended it to look? Because I'm like, well, she might have continued, or she might have continued shooting for a while, but the system is still loaded. You know. Oh wow, Meryl's actually gunning him down. And that's how I actually got- DAMN IT! I missed. That's how I actually got really lucky, um, I actually got really lucky last recording attempt because- Wow, I am missing a lot. Damn it! God, these guys are the AI on these guys reminds me a lot of the uh, of the Mad Genie in Resident Evil 5 because they'll run way past you and then just start getting really close. God, now I'm just waiting for these guys for Meryl to kill them all. Oh, and that, that's another thing that they'll do sometimes. They'll actually toss in grenades to try to flush you guys out. And this is the only safe place. Alright! Looks like Meryl took care of him. Awesome. God, I really shouldn't be calling these characters by their names when they're not revealed yet. I, I like how grisly they made this look. Thanks for the help. Wait! I can't remember whether or not there was this much focus in the original. I can't remember. It, it's not immediately coming to mind. Who I don't are think you? there was. Kojima never really knew how to balance like, uh, how many upcoming questions to how many answers. Because this is just. This is, there, I think there's too much at once. You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind.
Now we'll never get that detonation code. Kind of forced Snake to, uh, to just like sidle up against the wall he was already at and stay there until the elevator came up. I've watched this scene like 40 times due to playing and then re-editing and whatever, and I still have no idea why any of the, those parts are being shown. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. I think it would have been interesting if they actually rooted that into gameplay. Like, uh, like the closest thing I can think of is like the ghosts in Bioshock, where all of a sudden things will just come up, and they'll just look really, really off. But then if they did that, uh, it would only be effective if they kept it all the way up until the end. And a... Uh, and I'm getting into spoilers territory, and I found a book of pornography, which I don't th Wait! No! You've stolen my porno. I will kill you all! Oh, here it is. Alright. Can I see it? Mm. Yes. And, uh, if you look at this, this is actually the, the lead of, uh, Eternal Darkness. I believe her name is Alex. Alex, uh, A-L-Y-X. Another game made by Eternal, uh, by <laughs> Eternal Darkness, uh, made by, another game made by Silicon Knights, um, actually I believe the only other game made by Silicon Knights at this time, um, dur dur well, at the time this game was made, uh, and I, oh, wait, and I can bring up another thing, uh, but first, now we gotta go into the second floor basement of the Armory, now, the DARPA chief told us that we gotta look for the walls that are painted a different color and then blow them down. Well, wait, where is it? Yeah. Here they made them too subtle. Like, they made them almost the same hue. It doesn't look like they were painted over at. Well, it does look like they were painted over, and I think that's the problem. Anyway, now that we have the level one card, we can enter this door. A big improvement, in my opinion, from the original Metal Gear. You no longer have to manually select your card in order to open doors. Whoa, that was too close. Yeah, let's see, I'm not sure if this is clear. Oh, no, 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 that's, a, that's, a, that's another place that has it. Yeah, you no longer have to manually pull out your card, which makes me wonder why you even need it in your inventory. Uh, but I, I guess you can refer to it like, wait, what, uh, what level am I back up to? Oh, okay. You know. But still, uh, th this helps the flow immensely. And it actually, uh, helps in some other gameplay segments because here's the thing. <clears throat> in certain areas, you're gonna have to swap out items, and in order to reduce your damage intake, you have to have a certain item on. In Metal Gear Solid 1, you rec you pretty much... Oh god, I gotta move! Um, you pretty much had to... Alright, you can see the uh, poorly painted wall here. In Metal Gear Solid 1, you pretty much had to uh, like have these items out, but then like when you're opening a door, you had to very quickly switch to the... Uh, 
the key card, and then while it was open, switch back uh, so that you'll take the minimal amount of damage. Here, it's just very simple. So you take minimum damage anyway. All right. Oh, no. No! Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall. So yeah, these traps in the floor, they've actually updated their use. Later on, when there are enemies here, when you knock them out, you will actually be able to throw them in. But it's a little iffy. I think there have been a couple of times when I've accidentally, like, killed myself. Um, but... The fu oh, it, it doesn't go automatically go to the camera mode. Alright, where's the... Where's the un... Yeah, here is the last wall that we can bomb. And what do you know? It's where we need to go next. Now remember, I believe they said there's an area of electronic jamming. I'm not sure, like, what they mean by electronic jamming, but typically any place... Well, I know what they mean by electronic jamming, but pretty much any place that's just really tiny will have jamming. So, Armory South. Alright. Jamming! Our radar's been jammed, sir! Raspberry! Alright. I thought it would've been cool if, like, your radar still had the outline of the place, but very vaguely. Um, and, like, the more you open up the areas, the more uh, you can see of the place. Uh, but anyway, if we go over here, and we go into first-person view, we will actually see our target that we're trying to rescue. And that's the president of arms tech, Kenneth Baker. And if I've planned things correctly, then it should be fading out in three, two, one. Okay, yeah, I know these guys are relatively minor, especially compared to a couple of other characters I'm going to do basically after this. But, yeah, I'm going to do uh, bios on these two guys. So first off, I'm going to start with Donald Anderson, or the DARPA chief. Donald Anderson started as an expert in weaponry and high-tech equipment and was eventually scouted by Major Zero of the CIA around the early 60s and requested to join the CIA for his abilities. Up to that point, he had trouble finding a job in his level of expertise due to racial discrimination. Apparently, he wasn't well-liked in his new workplace either, since according to Major Zero, they would often have to deal with complaints relating to him three days a month. He was on support duty for Naked Snake, who would be later known as Big Boss in Operation Snake Eater, where he was under the name Sigint. And don't worry, that's not an important spoiler. When it's revealed later, it comes along with a much more important detail. I think I'll stop his life story there, though, because after this, that's when it goes into some spoilerific territory. I find it weird that the DARPA chief went from having a ton of personality in Snake Eater to having no personality in this game. It almost makes me think that the decision to make them be the same person was a last second one. Hmm. His character in this game is nothing. He's basically an exposition role meant to do nothing but add backstory and is nowhere near as memorably hilarious as he was in Snake Eater. You see, Snake, people are just sacks of shit, and they're full of holes. Fill them up with water, and it's gotta come out from somewhere. In Metal Gear Solid 1 and in this remake, he is voiced by Greg Eagles, originally under the alias George Beard. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. And his performance is adequate, but the limitations of his character don't give him any opportunity to stand out. Though, when he filled a new role as Peter Stillman in Sons of Liberty, he showed a great deal of acting prowess. Interesting note about Greg Eagles, he actually voiced two characters in the original game, but was only assigned to one in the remake, since both of his characters' voices sounded a little too familiar. Some of Greg Eagles' other roles include the Grim Reaper in The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Garcia and Smith in Killer7, Sergeant Morris in Quake 4, and the leader of the Samity Gang in Saints Row 2. The only thing I can really say about the Japanese actor Masahuru Sato is that he doesn't really stand out for a lot of the same reasons Greg Eagles couldn't stand out. And the only thing I can really tell that was very different about him was that he sounded much older than Greg Eagles somehow. Donald Anderson has appeared in four games. As for Kenneth Baker, there's not much I can say since the only things written about him are revealed shortly. Again, the English actor Alan Laurie, who in the original game was credited as Burt Stewart, puts in a, at least a good performance. I couldn't find any clips of the Japanese actor, and Alan Laurie seems to only do miscellaneous roles. Kenneth Baker has appeared in two games. All right. 
Alrighty then, if... Uh, I, I hope I edited this out into some sort of biography on two people, or maybe not, who knows, maybe I had a change of plan. Otherwise, I just sounded really fucking stupid. I, I hate it when cutscenes do that, when they make you go up to a certain place, but when you look at the cutscene itself, he's like five Am feet back late? from where you were. Whoops. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. <laughs> don't, don't touch it. With both Kenneth Baker and the DARPA chief, I've always wondered how the hell was he supposed to get them out? C4. Uh, another altered cutscene, and this one I agree with. This was overdone. That's like, if, if you don't, like, to scale Snake's supposed to be like six even, I think. So, he just jumped a solid. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along Four with the old man. He's pretty damn tall. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. Considering they were developing Metal Gear Solid 3 at this time, and you, this is a perfect edit that they added here. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. And I'm, but I'm still not sure why Solid Snake is not doing the damn thing. Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Yeah, well, remember when I said that Snake was kind of shitty at stealth? Well, here's the thing. If somebody, uh, if somebody's really a great stealth agent, they should be able to go somewhere and nobody should ever realize they're there. Think about how many times people are waiting for Snake in this game. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. 7373. Seven, More than enough to kill anything that moves. Unless it's an elephant. Then you're gonna have to get up to uh, 50 caliber because stranger. Stranger! Now that's a weapon. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Alright, I'll, I'll do most of this fight like completely breaking the game. Uh, but then I'll show you at the end how it's meant to be done. Draw. Mm. No. God, drawing is like completely arbitrary in this game because like you can just pause the menu, pause and go into the menu and just go like that. And what the fuck? Auto, auto target. You do. So yeah, this is what completely breaks this boss fight, that uh, you can auto-target running. And the thing is, both you and Ocelot actually go at the same pace in this game. In theory, Snake should actually be faster because he's much younger than Ocelot, but they later show that Ocelot is pretty strong even at his older time. So this is how he's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a, a hiding game. And oh my god, I think I can only take one more hit of damage. I won't help you. So yeah, that's how it's supposed to be done. But even then, that's a stupid fucking mechanic. Hmm. You're pretty good. I still prefer it over the the. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as PlayStation the PlayStation One version because of. It's uh, been a long oh. time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. I, I prefer something to be super easy as opposed to being annoying. That's why. That's awesome. Ugh. Yeah, this is a scene that was edited for the worse. What? Oh, yeah. Slow to losing a ah. 
be like, what the fuck? God, even though I know C4 is not really a pyrokinetic explosive, it still, like, it outputs enough heat so that most of these guys should have burns on them. I mean, hell, Mick Foley landed on C4 once. Dude burned his arm completely. Ninjas! Stealth camouflage! As opposed to camouflage that doesn't make you stealthy at all. Can't you even die right? I'm not sure whether that implies that Ocelot knows who that is, or... I don't know. You are lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? That's actually a really damn good question. Terminator. I like you. I have no name. But I used to be known as Arnold. I was once the governor of California. Actually, no, he would be that, serving at this time. That exoskeleton! See what I mean by a lot of questions all at once? This is a new scene they added in, and even though people say it's ultra matrixy, I think it's fucking cool. I, and I and I like the idea that they're making superhuman. In a in like a game that had much better controls or like or something that could like account for a lot of these movements, that would be, a lot of these moves would be so fucking cool to just have like counter and, and you know. Who the hell? If Konami actually could make a competent fighting game, like those a lot of those movements would be really cool to put in. Oh yeah. He was the reason we were here, wasn't he? Can you talk? No. Who are you? I'm not one of them. <sighs> the DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. No, I'm from the queue. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. In a very passive I way. You. How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kind of like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Uh, again, a little Even too much DARPA logic chief? in the... Of something course. illogical. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Here's the thing I've always wondered, is that supposed to be implied to be powder? Well, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Cause that'd be interesting if they... Implication that he made him, like... He's not human! Something. I tell you, he loved every second of it! What happened to your arm? He broke it. Why the fuck does it look like it's chopped off? Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Kinda like yours. Uh, you're a funny guy. 
So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Oh yeah, he's fine. Dead. What? It, it can't be. I think in the... No, that's not what in, you promised, In both versions, kid. I don't know where the now fuck he got the cane from. Calm down. Although in, like, the original, they show him walking with it for a little bit. But I still don't What's know What's wrong with is. you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. I would honestly say, oh, don't bullshit me. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Love how they do make you them still have the card keys? Hole. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that 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 woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? Yes, this was I actually the key. shown in the briefing. I myself, when like I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes. She stole it from the guard. Yeah, if she still has it, you should be able wonder, to contact her. How exactly does I'm Codec sure she has work? It. What frequency was she at? Is it just something you put on your person and oh, you can get it? Yeah. Let me tell you, it's... it's you get the signal? Okay, and I agree, this, this was a bit much. Although, oh, like, him putting... Sorry. I I'll tell you forgot. my problem. Hold on. Damn. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. I've heard people complain about the gun in particular, but actually the problem I have is just the I'll way he lunged right up in but that funny me, way. If this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Look like something oh. Dean Ambrose would do. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, I swear the team leader like a of the Metal times. Gear Rex project. A uh, genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's it's north from here. That's where he works. That's actually a good note to actually tell you where it is because I they haven't fucking told you shit. Why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. 
It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. Okay, I'd like to say something. In other words, most nuclear there's plenty engineers of available nuclear material work in and scientists field. for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. Although I guess the Japanese. What about the know other about superpowers? The problems. The Russians and Chinese still pursue caused. a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. I I've never understood this claim. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered like, quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets. If you already due have so called that can blow peace, up something the size I remember of hearing Russia. a lot about like, mergers and takeovers point? among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. They're racist like that. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military oversight committee. I believe he called them a bunch of bleeding hearts, or I believe. Bribes. Money! Just call it the military industrial complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? I don't condone floppies on my disc. What's on that? My show. An optical disc. It's all here. Okay, I The main have hard seen drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. I've seen the fucking files they need Don't for play dumb. Like scientific stuff. I know you were sent to get this. It would not fit on I a floppy. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Especially when it concerns Make fucking sure that you report this to Jim. Weapons. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. God, you fucking ran this place and you had such shitty secu- Uh, access? Come on! Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Then why do they have you tied up? Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. What's with all the race? Dark though? little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? I never understood that term. Metal Gear itself does, but... Like public existing technology? Of course. I mean, um, currently what? existing. What did you do to me? If it didn't currently exist, how the fuck did it exist now? It's a, it's a paradox for it not to exist. No. It can't be those Pentagon bastards. So they 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 actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They they they're just using you for for. If I, I've always wondered, like, how would I have made this game if I had control, complete control of it? What the hell? And, like, I would have made that about the halfway mark of, like, 
the game. Because there will be a lot of things later on I would have removed. And a lot of things early on I would have removed. Or I would have placed them out. But where things start to just go crazy, I would Colonel, put it about halfway through. are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Or the death Well, note? there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? No. More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Lies. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. God, I am stunned Snake just stopped asking questions at that point. I would be like, dude, but what the fuck was it? it this motherfucker told me that you knew. And man, this guy turned a weird shade of pink. That'd be really funny if, like, as an easter egg, like, all of a sudden he just, cl like, came to life and then, uh, like, just clawed at you if you stared here for, like, a minute and a half. That'd be fucking awesome. But, uh, I think that'll do it for this part. So, next time, we'll look on the back of the package and get in contact with Meryl, whatever package that may be. See you next time. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's, there's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. I'm pretty anyway, sure it's raspberry. Be careful. Be careful, Snake. Catch y'all later!